Well, 641 time to look at everything happening in the entertainment world. Mark Stone, I know you're joining us live. We're going to talk about all this scoop with the Brit Awards. But first, talking about golf. That's how you do it, right? You That's right. Very nice golf voice there. That was perfect. Absolutely perfect. Look, she is one of the world's best. The 2018 world champion and a long drive. It looks like it's about 500 yards and back to here. Yes, these are pro disc golfers. I was this old when I found out that it is a pro sport and they're some of the best of the best. How you can see them coming up in a little bit. Speaking of the best of the best, Dua Lipa is now one. Take a look. Dua Lipa probably levitating after the Brit Awards Tuesday night. She took home best album for future nostalgia. Before the show, she said it was an honor just to be nominated. It means a lot to me, and the album means so much to me, and I feel like it's helped me grow so much as an artist and as a performer, and to be recognized for that means the world. The Brit Awards, the British equivalent of the Grammys, also honored Billie Eilish with the International Female Solo Artist Award and The Weeknd with International Male Solo Artist. Billboard blowing up Drake's cell phone, naming the Canadian rapper its artist of the decade. There in the 2010s, Drake scored a leading nine number one albums, eight number one songs, with 45 top tens, and a record 232 total entries on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart. Drake will get the Artist of the Decade Award at the Billboard Music Awards live Sunday, May 23rd. Some big name musicals setting dates for a comeback. Hamilton, The Lion King, and Wicked all returning to the stage September 14th. Broadway shows have been closed since March 2020 because of the pandemic. Happy birthday to Oscar winner Rami Malek. The Bohemian Rhapsody star is 40, while the Falcon and the Winter Soldier star Emily Van Camp is 35. And that's what's happening in Hollywood. Falcon and the Winter Soldier is still the most watched product on Disney+. Plus. And by the way, back to Rami Malek, one of the nicest people on the planet. Well, I'd second, the nicest person on the planet is Zoe. And I'm not just saying that because you're in front of me. Zoe, I wanted you to uh, give a shout out to the organization. Uh, a lot of youth sports now leaning into this, and you have one that helps the cause. Absolutely. Universal Play Disc Golf is a nonprofit that I started in order to put disc golf education into schools and teach children about disc golf. Cool. You, if that just struck a nerve, you want to find out more about it, I'm going to put that on my Facebook page, it's Mark S. Allen Show. In the meantime, check them out this weekend. Jeff is the CEO. Once again, where, how, and when do we see them play this disc golf? Yeah, we're here at Swenson Park in Stockton, California. Come on by and uh, buy a ticket in discgolfprotour.com. That's all you need to know. Back to you. That's all you need to know. Give it back and some exercise. Thank you so much, Marcus Allen. you got to love that.